Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in again and do you know what? I really want to actually start building a win streak. So let's see if we can do that. We get basic old Kane to start, which is actually great because that's, I wouldn't say a guaranteed win, but I, th I think of all the characters, Kane is probably one of the closest. That is a insane item if we can manage to get it somehow. That is not an insane item. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, very... Ooh, look, Penny, very nice. Very, 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 very much want that. Don't know if we're going to be able to get it. I would probably bet on saying we probably won't get it. Um, also, this is slightly annoying. Just remember, Kane does start with a bit lower HP here, so... That's a bit of a problem. But yeah, basically we, we have to get either a flight item or a flight card on this floor if we want this to uh, go our way. I have a feeling that's not going to happen. Okay, that was actually... Do you know what? I'm, I'm actually doing a good job with this bean here. I'm making it work. So we got to check this. There isn't even a card available, which definitely hinders our plans a little bit. But we might be able to at least get that soul heart going. Honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of loving this... Uh, this bean right now. Right, uh, I'm just going to push this over here in case secret rooms here. I very highly doubt it is. It's not, but that is a hell of a lot of money, though. That's that's money that I can put in my pocket. Very nice. Okay. So, yeah, I think I think we're probably at the point now where it's exceedingly unlikely. Wow, okay. That, uh, that worked out fantastically for me there. I didn't even think I'd be able to charm that. I should have a whim. Uh, yeah, unfortunately... We have, um, we have come across a situation in which we cannot get um, a card. The one saving grace we have here, and I do have to try it, is our cash room. Because there's one cash room layout I know about, not this one, that has, um, <laughs> has a, a hanged man card in it. We could also get one as a reward from completing this room as well, which is unlikely, but certainly possible. Yay! <laughs> Damn it. God damn, that's so annoying. That's such a good item. Absolutely taunted. Taunted by it. Right. We can at least go ahead and buy this. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else we really need to do on this floor here. Apart from maybe look for the secret room, which is likely to be here. It's not. I don't know where it is then. Here? Yeah? What the hell is it? I do not know. Anyways, we've wasted our bombs, so we are off. <laughs> yeah, straight to the lamp. But yeah, that is an unfortunate first floor. That that had some good prospects for us there, and unfortunately, our hopes have been dashed. I just wanted to charm that dude so that he didn't fire at us while we were doing other stuff. Kind of a good little tactic. You can use... That hit me. What? I think the Stonies, like, pushed me into that then. Okay, these guys need to go first. These are way more annoying than anything else. Okay, we genuinely could lose our Devil Deal here. I'd rather not. So we'll we'll try our best not to. But um, unless we get another Soul Heart real quick, it might be uh, might just be how the, the way the cookie crumbles. Oh my lord, this is not great for us. I hate... Honestly... Oh my god, this is bad. I really hate these green flies. They hit me so often because they move so sporadically. Like, they move in a, in a very predictable pattern in this chain. But as soon as you kill one of them, it breaks the chain and they kind of go all wacky. It makes it very, very difficult to predict what they're going to do. I mean, you can see one of them's just hanging out on his own there. Okay, 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 okay. We've got something going on now. We got something going on. Do, do, do. Okay, hopefully better item this time. Do you know what? The leech is pretty good. Uh, in fact, I will grab the leech and let it munch on you boys to give me some extra HP. Thank you. Um, no. I, I do want bombs, but I don't know if that'll take away my devil deal chance. I'd rather not if it's going to. Here you go. Let's pop them out. Thank you. I'm actually quite liking having this bean. I've got to be... I don't, I've never really used it before. Bit of a love bean. Never really used it, but I am thoroughly enjoying it. It is um, coming in quite handy here. Okay, take out you. 
And then, like, we're just left with the easy enemies. See, it's, it's all working out right now. Let's go and uh, crack this bad boy open. Again, I'll push it against the wall to check for secret room, but I just doubt it's here. You just gotta try, why not? And there you go, got some extra bombs there as well, rather nice. Okay, yeah, I'm not too sure where secret room would be in this scenario. Okay, we're not gonna get anything out of uh, charming these dudes, really, are we? Although, Leechy Boy here is doing a great job against them. Wow, I didn't expect him to be so pertinent per against them. Leech is just very strong in general. If only he would grasp the fact that there's an enemy right in front of him that he's not attacking. God damn it. Chaos this early. I feel like Chaos early is um is pretty good. Flat Penny's rather nice here as well. Although No, Flat Penny's better. Flat Penny's clearly better. Cause we're gonna get more keys, so we don't need the we don't need the thing of not having uh, of, of uh, not having to use keys on golden chests if we just generally have a lot more keys. Ooh, lots of bombs. This could definitely be secret room. I'll try this out. But yeah, chaos could... Eh. Ooh, could also be here. Uh, chaos could lead to some real wackiness, but that's where you got to take it. It's one of those items that I feel like... Why did that cost a broken heart? I mean, I'll take it. I feel like that's pretty good. But I'm not sure why that cost a broken heart. Fair enough. <laughs> Hopefully that's not something we see too often. But getting the D6 here, I have to say, is pretty good. Especially with Chaos. Oh my god, the amount of healing. Uh, especially with Chaos, because now we can reroll into lots of different item pools. So I think that this is the pro very, very good. Also, Isaac's Tomb. Getting a secret room item from a secret room. What is this? It's like we don't have chaos at all. It's very, very useful for us. Yeah, I think Isaac's Tomb is actually really, really good. Especially if we can get a lot of keys. Which we're likely to get quite a lot of keys from the setup that we currently have. Gotta say, this is a good start to my day. I'm recording here uh, relatively early in the morning. Um, and I am loving it. I'm, I'm having a good time. I'm sad to lose our bean because I was actually thoroughly enjoying that. There you go. Uh, but still... At the same time, sacrifices must be made. And we get the D20 here. Um, no thank you. So we'll leave that. Uh, I do want to quickly see if we can get a battery charge by, via any means. Um, I don't really know if we can. Okay. There is a battery charge in here. I really do think we should... Um, we should do this. I realize I need to fill up my donation machine. I was just about to say, we're going to get a bunch of keys by doing this. And the battery itself. I think it's pretty worthwhile. Um, and we can go and see what we get instead of the D20 here. Hopefully it's something decent. Hopefully it's something that can make me smile. Do you know what? The intruder is just that. I quite like the intruder. Intruder is going to give us some slowing shots. It's going to give us that like nice little sort of extra attack if we um nice if we get hit. We've also got the conquest thing going on here, which I believe conquest is uh, champions. So if it affects them, it makes them into champions. Which they, they do still drop their normal champion drops, so it's actually not a bad curse at all. Pop that down. Sister Maggie, I think Sister Maggie's worthy of a reroll, right? Sister Maggie's one of those ones where it's like, it's not super necessary for us to, um... I didn't realize that slowing down a globin actually took me, made it take them longer to reform, but apparently it does. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's worthy of a, of a reroll, considering it could end up being something so much better. Yeah, let's be careful here. The slowing down is really nice, but these enemies can still be a bit of a problem. And our damage is good, but not great. I think it's more that our fire rate is not great than anything, actually. Right, check this out. I'm going to do this just for the charges. we got some keys as well here. Oh, god damn. This guy's, I think that guy's double champion. I think the, the conquest curse can actually make some uh, champions become champions sort of thing and give them an extra champion effect which is kind of interesting actually if that's the case it might not be i might be mistaken but it felt like that guy was like a double champion or something i really like the the, uh, the new curse system there's not a single curse out of the ones that added that i've um that i've not liked so far either this guy's so small okay right so let's go back over to this and re-roll it 
Companion Cube, yeah. I'll take Companion Cube. I th I've, I've had it before. I think it's pretty good. Um, you push it around into enemies, and it, it kind of does its own thing as well. It, like, pushes itself into enemies when it can, which is really nice. Like that. And it stuns them and does quite a bit of damage, too. But, yeah, just it's good when, uh, when there's enemies like this, where they're, like, right next to the doors you into the room, and the cube's just like, nah. I'm not letting you get me after that. Ooh, what the hell? 1% planetarium chance. Although, have to say... Little bit sad to see a planetarium on a run with chaos, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Yay! Halo flies! <laughs> so yeah, that was a little bit unfortunate there, but again, that is what happens. Oh, cool shades. Okay, we got some pretty bad items lying around here. Got some pretty bad items lying around, unfortunately, but... I keep, I'll keep saying it. <laughs> That's chaos for you. Until we get a sacred heart or something, I'm allowed to be a little, a little annoyed. But I did it. To, I did it to myself. I did just hurt myself, hurt myself there. But I got a crawl space out of it. So do you know what? Sanguine bond is really good now. Um, I'm gonna take sanguine bond. I'll be honest. I actually really like sanguine bond now. It's a bit janky to use. I'll admit. But it's still a very, very, very good item. Also, how are we going to get across there? I just realized that that crawl space is going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? Piggy bank. Ugh. Ugh. I really should have rerolled the active first, because that's the one that we definitely won't take. Because we just we just can't without school bag. So that should really should have been my, my priority reroll, but hey ho. Good. You are taken out. Okay, you're going to be just a general pain in the ass, aren't you? Good, good. Right, doubt we're going to get another charge this floor, which is a shame. It really is, but... What are we to do? What are we to do? Let's go. I've got, I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on right now, though, to be honest. Um, yeah, so let's just take Piggy Bank for now. It is definitely better than Halo Flies, I think, in my opinion. Halo Flies, it's fine, but we do, I don't really get a benefit from it. Whereas Piggy Bank, I know you have to get hit for it to work, but still on, like, blood donation machines and stuff, it's pretty good. All right, so we got to go in, and then out. There we go. Bit janky, but it works. Yes. Nice one, Companion Cube. Keep this man at bay. Oh, that was pretty tricky. You did a good job there, little Mr. Hurst boy. Wasn't expecting to get hit by that. Um, and then here we got Flyboy, which I think is pretty good. Or Sigil. I'm going to go with Flyboy. Flyboy is really good. Um, gives us damage up per floor and eventually gives us the Beelzebub transformation, I believe. Ooh, we did get another charge this floor. Nice. I love the fact that it can also make spawn enemies champions, which isn't normally a thing in, um, in Isaac. I like it. Right. Cuba meets unfortunate. There you go. Tractor beam, I'll definitely take for a nice little fire rate boost. Um, Cuba meets, honestly, it's still an item we can pick up, so I'd rather go reroll the um, space bar item. Although it does mean traversing through this bullshit again, which is <laughs> just annoying placement, but there you go. Um, secret room wise, I don't really know. Where are we looking? Where are we looking? Ooh, each tier fired creates four additional tiers that start from far away and converge towards you. That sounds interesting. Oh, that's cool. Hey, I really like that. That's got to be a Andromeda item, right? I quite like that. That's pretty cool. No, another smelter here. Don't really think it's worth smelting a trinket for... Uh, actually, it only costs one soul heart now, so maybe it is. Yeah, do you know what? The fact that it just gave me a better trinket and it only costs one soul heart now. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, nah. And it was like, oh, no. By the way, here's a, here's a really, really, really good trinket that you're definitely going to want to keep. Okay. All right, then. <laughs> Booger tears are so good. Can I stick a bugger tier to my companion cube? Did I just see? I don't know why it let me fire one then and then wouldn't after, but... Apparently I can stick one to the companion cube. That's kind of funny. Ooh, the convergence tiers can be, um... 
can be stingy tears as well. That's really cool. The convergence tears can also be bugger tears. I didn't realize that adopt our tear effects. I'm very happy to be learning this. Justice. Not the best, but there you go. And then here we got a bunch of trinkets. Sadly. Um actually to be fair, sleight of hand is really, really good. But I say sleight of hand is really, really good. We don't really have the best situation to be using it in right now, because we I really like the trinket I've got right now. This yeah, this conversion seems so cool. Right, where are we going? Oh hello there, sir. Get stuck with a bugger. How about that? And they, has, they get slight herming as well, which makes it even better with convergence. That's a good re-rollable item there. Thank you very much. I'll take this, why not? And it's a tears of hell yes. This just looks really cool. Even if it's not like that strong, it just looks great. Did we go this way? We went this way, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Need one more charge. Get out of the way, companion cube. There you go. We're taking out rooms pretty damn quickly now. Okay. Let's go back. Reroll Mr. Boom. See what we get. With chaos, it's always... It's always a wonder. Hey, Mum's bottle of pills. Ech. Another active. It had to be, didn't it? We're going to get a lot of actives. I can just feel it. I do have the mod on that should slightly reduce the amount of actives we get, but we're still probably going to get quite a few. I'm noticing some bugger tiers that don't have the, uh, the bugger tier um, visual from uh, the Convergence, which is kind of intriguing. I'm not quite sure what's causing that, but as long as we're getting bugger tears, I don't really mind. We do have a red room here, which could be intriguing. Oh, it's, it's a full reroll. I honestly don't think we go for a full reroll. This, this run's got a lot of fun stuff going for it right now. And there's that, which obviously we won't take that yet, but it's very good to know that exists. Another pill here. We'll take the pill. Why not? Okay. It's telepills to the boss, which isn't exactly what I wanted, but there you go. Go. Converge, my pretties. Converge. Ow. You spawned something on me. Book of Jubilees is really good. Really like Book of Jubilees here. Okay, this is the room we are in before, right? I'm pretty sure. So many bugger tears going around, it's great. It's the best. Now we need just actual sinus infection, then we'll be really good. Okay, we check this out. Sadly, that's a bit dooky. Um, right, so first of all, let's go do... Wait, have we, seen it? we haven't seen our item room yet, have we? I'm fairly sure we haven't seen our item room yet, which must mean it's up. I still think we should go and reroll the item we know we don't want first, because again, it's an active. And there you go. The Eucharist. Do you know what? Gotta say, Eucharist would like to have that before the boss, but still, pretty darn good nonetheless. I'm pretty happy about that. Good, good. Everyone's going down. Extra keys. Uh, keys, obviously, are never going to be a problem for us. Oh my lord. These boys do be fast. I love the way it breaks all the poops and stuff. <laughs> Just all of them are breaking everywhere. A hey, extra money's great. Honestly, they, I, I don't know if it's the convergence or just our stats, but it, we are killing stuff really fast. Really fast. I think it's just a bit of everything working in tandem. Okay, so apparently this wasn't the right way. I thought this was where our item room would be. Have we been to our item room? Maybe we have. Maybe I'm dumb. Hey, Book of Jubilees gave us an eternal heart there. Right, where the hell... Up here? Did we go up this way? Mm, we did. So then it's not this way. Not here. Not here. Is it this way? Oh, here we go. It's got to be this way. Really? You pushed that away, did you? Do I have poison immunity? I got blasted away by that poison cloud then, but didn't get hurt. Maybe I do. 
a there's a blood donation machine there. I definitely think we should use that considering we've got piggy bank. There you go, just to get up to a decent amount of money here. Honestly, we can use the leech as well to abuse it a little bit. Do you know what? This is a decent amount of money. And euthanasia. Especially with um with our convergence thing going on. I think euthanasia could be very, very good. It could be quite promising. I don't know what you guys think, but my god. Okay, so we've got another recharge there. So I think we go in here, we re-roll, and we get... Mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for another one. We've got the money to do this, so I thought, why not? No, no, no. No, no, no. That's very upsetting. Nothing good there. Anyways, I guess we'll be leaving. Damn it. I should have realized that this had been this this would be open because I could have got a lot more with the rerolls out of this room. Little bit upsetting there. I kind of thought if you took Eucharist after already finding the after already finding the boss, it wouldn't spawn, but apparently I am misinformed. Ooh, this is actually a very interesting room. It's kind of funny, really, because this uh, Grimace's uh, break when entering a room and Grimace's drop black hearts. So now we go into this room and then I think, I don't know if it'll work, but I think if we then leave this room and come back in, it will kill all of those. It didn't. Okay, maybe they don't count as Grimace's. That, that, that could have been quite funny, though. Okay, good, good. Right, so what we're we looking for first, probably the shop, right? You know, really good money and everything, so shop is kind of high tier for us. Do not accidentally take the tick. Whatever I do, do not accidentally take the tick. I just want, like, one more fire rate upgrade to put me in a really good spot. Okay. This shouldn't be so bad. Think we're good? Yeah. Ooh, we got a burn out of that as well. Hello there, Mr. Bonehart. So a full charge now as well. Do you know what? Place a bomb here. Kill you, give us some money. Not that we need the money, but... Hey, we've got a Holy Mantle from Brook of Jubilees there as well. This could be secret room. Check it out. Very much is. Right, okay. Um, Someone's done something bad in modding. Why are all my items costing broken hearts? Let me just quickly take a screenshot of this, because I know someone that added something similar to this, and it's it's a bit annoying, I've got to admit. Uh, right. One second. I need to remember the person's name. Yo. I think you broke something. Okay. Right, anyways, nonetheless, good items. I will definitely take Glitch Crown. Even if it is for a broken heart. And magic skin, I feel like we should reroll. Okay, so there's some weird stuff going on here now. Uh, I'm gonna just leave. <laughs> I might come back and reroll that again, but for now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave. Seems oh god, seems scary. Okay. Keep her going. Yeah, I do think that's definitely not working as intended. Because uh, I'm pretty sure from what I saw, she's trying to make it so that um, there's like a, her own custom room that has broken heart cost items. But for some reason, it's affecting all secret rooms. Bit weird. Right. Oh, hello. Hello, big boy. Nothing for us, apparently. Right. Oh, there you go. You're going to destroy that and give us a black heart. Nice. That's such a cool item, that. Right. Check this out. Oh, okay. I kind of forgot would be uh, would be doing this whole shebang now. Um, so, what do we actually want out of these? Probably uh, prosperity, right? So, it's after black. Okay. There you go, we've got Prosperity, and then I probably want the damage up here, which is Glass Eye, which comes after... 
mystery bag, I think. There you go. Nice. Okay, back over here. What is going on with this jank item over here? It's not re-rolling correctly either. Okay, let's not try re-rolling that again, because for some reason, yeah, it's just not re-rolling as it should. I'm not quite sure what's going on with it. But something ain't right. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's a big companion cube right there. Holy hell, that is a big companion cube. Gotta love it. Right, keep it going. Right, one moment. Um... One minute. I need to pause the recording. Okay, the developer said apparently that's not broken and it's intended, and that's a custom and that that is the new custom room I was just talking about. But without stage API installed, it just doesn't have the the correct backdrop. But if that's the case, they still seem a bit too common. I don't have to pay broken hearts for all my secret room items. Ooh, got a luck penny in that room as well. Nice. God damn, we're getting so many bugger tears now. It's beautiful. The Bugateers are out in force. Nice. Five luck already. Beautiful. Look at that big ass leech. Love it. Okay. Get another charge here as well for whatever uh, boss item slash angel deal. Angel deal is probably the preferable one to uh, try and try and roll. We've got two chances at an item. We'll see what, um, what we end up doing to this boss. Reap creep should be pretty easy for us here, actually. Get those buggers on him. Oh god, spiders. Okay, companion Q got the spiders. Big Leech is doing his own thing. He doesn't he doesn't really know what's going on. He's just got his mouth wide open, ready to receive. But there you go. Okay, so we got some interesting stuff there. Um we got mum's oh no, wait, what? We got the we got a knife in there, but it's not mum's knife. Okay, so what we got going on here? Oh, uh, grants a full knife. Okay, that's um, 1.8 times damage up. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, or we can go with 2020. Let's go with a 1.8 times damage up. This, uh, what, what does that come after? Fast bombs, I think. Right. I think it's fast bombs. Yeah, we got it. Nice one. Um, and that's going to give us a buttload of damage. But now we get a guaranteed curse every floor, I think it said. Which seems fine to me, honestly. This is like a pretty good item nonetheless. Do you know what? Mm, yeah, I should take the key piece. And then, right, what do we want to do with this? Right, first of all, move the companion cube. You're in the way. Um, I don't think I really want any of those. Let's try re-rolling. I think we want the pact here, don't we? Packed guillotine. It's Fez. Fez then packed. Okay. Okay. There you go. I got the packs. Nice. Right. To the next floor. To the next floor. Right. One moment. Okay. We are back. Let's carry on. Ooh. I keep forgetting we get these. Sadly, though, we've still not had an item from them yet. Ooh. It's the sick monster. He is here. Do it. We've got good damage now. <laughs> this this room was already kind of popping off, but now it's it's really popping off. Wow, that's a lot of hosts. No, thank you. Oh god, my convergence tiers are now red, which has made things just a little bit confusing. Man, what is going on with all these hosts? Every single time, it's a host. See. See? Double host. What the hell? No thank you. Okay. Oh, I'm loving euthanasia. I'm sure so many people would not be saying that in real life. It's not a sentence you'd probably say much outside of, um... Outside of the Binding of Isaac, but I love euthanasia. Oh, what the hell? I don't even know what the sponge does, but I picked it up, apparently. It's floating around me. I'm guessing it fills up with tears and explodes into more tears. I would, if, I, if, I, if I could guess, I would imagine. As tears hit it, it fills up like a sponge. And then, once it reaches critical mass, it explodes into a bunch of friendly tears. 
Which is a pretty cool idea if that's what the idea is. It might not be that, but to me that's like the obvious. If you were thinking of a sponge in the Binding of Isaac, that's what you'd do with it. Hello. Another luck penny, lovely. Right. What boss is this? Okay, this is Necro 2. We don't want to do that quite yet. We want to find our shoppy shoppy. And item room as well, actually. I didn't realize we hadn't found our item room yet. We do have one of these uh, spiked rocks here. We'll try that out, maybe. I think this is our secret room, just because we don't have a red... Oh, wait. No, maybe not. Yeah. I was going to say, we don't have a red mark, but then I realized I'm not even holding the thing yet. Not how it works. This could be our secret room, though. Heck. Trying it all, but <laughs> it's not all working out. Right. Uh, let's see how we can use it, shall we? Yeah, get rid of those bastards. Right. Pop this here. Why not? Check out this. Okay. Um, I think we want... We at least want um, seven seals, I think. But after 4.5 volt. Uh, we got 4.5 volt. I really didn't want that. And this one, I'm just going to go for the random. Old Doppler. I really didn't want 4.5 volt. I think it kind of sucks with uh, something like the D6, but we got it now. I was a little bit too close to the item when I used it. Oh, well. It wouldn't matter for us too much soon, anyways. Sin robes is probably the best thing here, I think. Oh, we got another item out of that. Hello. Um, so I think we go, where's Sin Robes? Sin Robes is after Supper, I think. Yeah, Supper. There you go, got Sin Robes. This one I kind of feel like re-rolling. Um, I don't really care about any of those either, I'll, I'll admit. But damn, the key ratio to coins with this trinket is obscene. It's like fifty percent of all of them that you pick up give you a give you a key. Right, I think we're about done with this floor. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Take him down. Okay. We definitely don't want to do Void. We're doing the Lamb, so let's take that. Ooh, Monstrous Lung. I kind of want Monstrous Lung here. What's it after? Let's check. E'd, okay, it's after um, that. If we accidentally get Star of Bethlehem, I wouldn't be displeased. Ooh, it works really interestingly with convergence as well. I kind of like this. I do need a bit more fire rate, though. Fire rate is not great right now. But look at that damage. And we get... I don't know. What do we want out of this? Let's just go and grab. we got starter deck. I'm pretty happy with starter deck. Holy cow. Yera. And that was a Yera. I don't know what I wanted to get out of this, but I'm using them all anyways. Anyhow, let's go. We could probably do Void Roundabout now, I think, but still. One minute. Let's keep on going. Come on, item. Oh, we finally got an item. What, what, what do you get? The auction gavel. Oh, no. Wait, what? I'm confused. <laughs> Wait a minute. It is the auction gavel. Why didn't it spawn an item that time? I do not know. I did not mean to pick it up, by the way. As you can probably imagine. I did not mean to pick it up. We finally got an item, and I biffed it. Right. Right. 
Goddamn hosts everywhere, man. Annoying. Oh, come on, stop. Ah. Uh. Oh, whoa. Bed, hello. <laughs> I always forget that um, Book of Jubilees can sometimes spawn a bed. It's like, I think it's once every 49 rooms, if I remember correctly. Something like that. Always catches me off guard, though. Every time. Give me fire rate in my heart. Keep me burning. Honestly, I'm a bit sad that I missed that, but... Is there anything here that I really, really, really want? There is. There is definitely something here I really, really, really want. Although, it's going to be a little hard to grab. Butt bombs, pyromaniac. I have greed. Almond milk. Okay, so I have greed. It's kind of tough to get the timing right here, but we'll try this out. Yes! And as you can see, it has been done. Excuse me? Excuse me? Is there a... Is there a reason there's a bunch of tears bouncing around that won't stop? But what's what's going on with these tears exactly? I'm very confused. Um, we probably want infestation two here. So, ballot, fettered heart, infestation two. So fettered heart. Yeah, there you go. Boom, bow, and away we go. And away we go. <clears throat> Ooh, we got Beelzebub finally as well. So we got our flight. Ooh, forgot about the chest again. Oh, I love almond milk with Monstro's lung. Oh, well, soy milk, almond milk, whatever. Okay, three trinkets this time. Good, good. Oh, it's just beautiful. I don't know why it's giving us white tears. Does almond milk always give you white tears? I don't remember. Beautiful. <laughs> what a great item. Just getting extra black hearts and not have to ever deal with any of those bullshit things. I like the idea of that. I'm just speeding through these rooms at this point. I find it funny how bombs are virtually impossible to use in this setup. In fact, we're going to have to bomb out this room, aren't we? Yeah. I'm going to say it's going to take too long to kill those hosts. Beautiful. All the spiders as well. Wait. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact that I have... I have almond milk and 7.5 damage. How? I have such high damage for almond milk. That's crazy. No wonder I'm killing things so fast. I did think it was kind of nuts how quickly things were dying. Yeah, apparently it's because, like, my character's a living god. Like, we fear no evil. We are blind to it all. We are going to destroy everything. Ooh, glitched heart. Gotta got, got take it. Give us a burn heart. I don't actually want the burn heart. Oh, no, actually, no, I do, because I can fill it up immediately. If you can fill it immediately, it's worth it. Right. Where are we going? Okay, so this is our trinket room. This is our meat unicycle room. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking the convergence item as well, I've got to say. I mean, we, the fact that we got six luck plus euthanasia is definitely helping our cause right now. But yeah, I think it's just a really cool item in general. And then it's bloody 14, well, 15 damage spiders everywhere. Whoa. What happened here? I didn't mean to walk through here. Whoops. I thought you couldn't get Dominic's on Curse of the Blind. I thought that was like a general rule. Apparently, I was wrong. I, I kind of find it funny that our, um, that our, like, item that sometimes buffs, well, that buffs our familiars, can buff, like, spiders and stuff. It's really dumb. Because if you have a lot of spiders like this, it just buffs a random spider. And it never, like, you see, see this fucking gigantic spider right here? It doesn't actually end up buffing your actual familiars. It buffs, like, the spiders and stuff. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> it's funny. Right. You are going down, sir. There you go. Well, why can't I hit you right now? There you go. We've got a Soul of Isaac in the back pocket as well. I don't know how useful that's going to be with Glitched uh, Crown, but we'll try it out. 
I don't, I genuinely don't think it did anything. We got a Mac. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, 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 okay. So we've got a choice here. Do we want to go with rubber cement or technology? I kind of want to go for technology. So we've got the heart cutter. Yeah, I want, I want to try out technology here. It's good. It's real good. And then we've got a Maculate Heart here as well. Poop. Okay. Nice. Wow. <laughs> this is nuts. See, I think Rubber Cement would have been even more damning. I think Rubber Cement would have been even worse for us. Every time I forget to go for that. I just love the fact that at the minute we got this thing where we fire and then the, the convergence just goes crazy. This I don't really care about. We'll take whatever. Buttermilk. I don't even know what buttermilk does. I guess we should go find out. Um, encyclopedia, inventory. Because it's, it's one of the milk items. So it's got to do something to our fire it, right? When shooting, in addition to normal tears, the player will now fire a constant stream of poop behind poop tears behind them. These tears will reveal 15% of players' damage at the same rate as soy milk and the character player's tear effects. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. It's kind of nutty. Oh my god. I love it. We always we always manage to create just such heavy, unavoidable lag. <laughs> impossible to not lag at the minute. Oh my god. I just want to say, please just say we're going the right way and we're not even. There's an eternal heart back there though, I suppose. I could make use of that. I don't think I need to though. I realise it's lazy to not just go back and get it, but at the same time, I've committed to not getting it now. Oh my god. It's brilliant. I love it. How are you alive still? Exactly. The convergence will get you. Conquest is just giving us more champions to go at. That's fine. Look at that. Oh, he was right in the middle of the convergence area there. That's a fat L for you, sir. Okay, let the spiders do a lot of our work, honestly. We kind of need to at this point. Ooh, there's some extra black hearts as well. Gives us some extra damage, nice. They only give a half a black heart though, I actually changed that in the code. Because I think them giving a full black heart plus a bit of damage is a bit much. So they only give a half black heart. God damn, don't you love it? Dropping down to, what, what FPS we go down to? Like, 10? 3, 2, 1. Got him. Oh, there goes the Brimstone Boy as well. Didn't quite get the second phase of that Brimstone Boy, but no matter. They are dead. Hello, sir. And this will pretty much insta-kill him, right? Yeah. <laughs> Very much so insta-kill him. Drop those plump little feet down on me, boy. There you go. We are good to go. Right, what will the next floor hold for us? Okay, so this, this is nice having these. Oh, spinning wheel. Okay, we got some, we got some crash worthy stuff right here. Uh, I definitely think we take, um, we take spinning wheel here, which comes after mum's contact, I think. Yeah. Spinning wheel. Strawberry milk here is going to be pretty good too. We'll grab that. Strawberry milk comes after Dreamcatcher. Yeah. So, gone to Dreamcatcher. Strawberry milk. Hell yes. Right. So, look at my fire rate. 
I think uh, something majorly broke with Strawberry Mill. But now we can do this. Which is just fantastic, I guess. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. I don't know why we go up to 120 fire rate, but we do. That's uh, that's definitely, like, thumbnail clickable, that is. And this, we just grab whatever. The talisman isn't really necessary at this level, at this state in the game. Oh, look at how many bugger tiers we fire. It's great. We got the quarter. We've got to have that money on this floor. We've got to wait, because we're going to get chests on basically every room here. And like I said, I'm not really going to be um, grabbing everything because I like paying attention with uh, Glitch Crown because at this point, we're past that, aren't we? We're past that. We might end up getting like an R key because of Chaos at some point or something, but otherwise, nothing's really taken my fancy. I suppose I could reroll this and get last rags. There you go. We got a revive now, so we're even more safe. Beautiful. We got Ghost Baby, hell yeah. We can actually cat. Do you know what? I've just realized something. We actually kind of use the lag that our tears generate to slow down Glitch Crown and grab the right item. It's kind of funny. There you go. Ooh, Herming. I think we have to try and grab Herming. That's um, Holy Mantle, Burza, Angry. So it's after Angry. There you go. Get a bit of herming in there too, why not? I wonder if that works with the convergence tiers as well. Probably not, right? That'd be a bit too a bit too good. Oh, this is Oh no no, it does. It very much does. That is indeed quite crazy. Ooh, breath of life, hell yeah. That's what I've been looking for. Wait, have we managed to skip this room? We're casting the nears. Everything is dead now. Dead now. Dead now. Beautiful. There you go. It has been done. Wait, what? He's like on the, on his death's bed. He just wouldn't want to die. Okay, there you go. Beautiful. Either way, do you know what? I have to say this run's a bit too laggy to carry on with this. <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.